As it is when you're searching through the night for artists uh, and trying to capture them after their job. I found Dave Frischberg, or else he found me, as the case may be. And uh, that's the beginning of an Alcone medley, which he has put together in a very adept sort of way. The uh, opening theme from A to Z, all of these compositions by that legend, the late Alcone. Dave Frischberg will be arriving in the Twin Cities, as I mentioned before, and he'll be at Suzette's on Cathedral Hill, opening on October 12th. Dave, it's good to have you back in this home base. Well, what kind of a night has it been? You've been working. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't perform in person tonight. I'm. I'm here in Newport uh, Beach, California, and I just. Uh, I've been making a record here with my friend, the cornet player Jim Goodwin. And uh, Jim and I both came down from Portland yesterday, and we're recording in Newport. We recorded today, Saturday, and we're going to record again tomorrow, Sunday. Instrumental music. So that really is your choice, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. th this this time around. Mm -hmm. Is it a project for Concord Records? No, it's for a, a label called Arbors. And uh, that's a new label and catalog for you. For me, yeah, it is. Well, Dave, um, what sort of material are you? Well, uh, Jim and I uh, uh, play, I guess what you'd call, pretty uh, conservative uh, music. <laughs> <laughs> Would right. you describe that further, please? He's a cornet player out of the old school. Uh, in the uh, tradition of Ruby Braff, I no, suppose. No, uh, uh, in the tradition of Louis Armstrong, actually, I would say. Oh. Not that Ruby's not, but... No, I understand. Uh, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't get into the flashy stuff that Ruby does. It's, it's a little more simple. And uh, we get along great, the two of us. A formidable duet, if I must say so. We've been playing together for the last year in Portland, regularly at the Heathman Hotel. Oh, what a privilege. We could all fly out there and it's catch really that. Good, yeah, really nice little duet. So I'm glad that we'll be captured, uh, you know. We play some pretty esoteric material today. We played Shoutem and Tilly. Uh-huh. I don't think there's anybody else on the West Coast today that recorded that. <laughs> not, not either yesterday or today. Yeah, maybe in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> uh, what else did you uh, program? Well, let's see what else did we play today. Uh, I got the list here so I can find it, but I'm kind of disorganized. Oh, wait a minute. Here I go. Yeah. Oh, we played... Uh, Easy Come, Easy Go, Rosalie by Cole Porter. We played Blue River, the Frank Trumbauer uh, thing, you know, uh, from the 20s. We played Cabin in the Pines. My, some rare old uh, material. Stardust, we played One, Two, Button Issue. Yeah, we really got into some old stuff. Well, it sounds uh, like a great review of uh, some historic and rather overlooked material as well. Tomorrow we'll resume again. We're having a real good time. Well, it sounds like the, the, the combination, really, of piano and, 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 uh, and brass is really, uh, without drums or bass, gives you a lot of freedom, doesn't it? Well, of course, it depends on who, you're, who it is, but, uh, yeah, we do good with that. <laughs> you do good with that. How about the, uh, the, the medium of uh, lyrics? Uh, aside from your instrumental project, which you're putting together, have you uh, been... Uh, Composing, uh, well, you know, um, with tongue in cheek. My uh, my Twin Cities appearance is going to be is going to provide a running start for me because I get to play a full week of the Twin Cities and kind of get a momentum going. Then I go to Ann Arbor, where I'll record uh, in front of a live audience. I'm making my new CD there. Well, that you're busier than the cat on a. Isn't that weird, yeah. I, I, all of a sudden, I got real busy. I. Uh, so, the rest of us are in a depression, and I'm, I'm booming all of a sudden. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Well, Dave, uh, we can come as members of the audience while you shake this all out. Yeah. I hope you will come. We certainly will. We'll meet you on October 12th at Suzette's on Cathedral Hill when you open in St. Paul, Minnesota, your hometown. Right. And after four nights at Suzette's, I switch over to the Luxford, Minneapolis. That's what I understand. Yeah. Odd situation, but I'm not going to argue. Well, uh, it sounds like we're going to get just pleasant exposure on both sides of the river. Yeah, well, that's my intention. That's my job, pleasant exposure. <laughs> well, Dave, I know at, at this end of the line, we eagerly await your arrival, complete with tongue-in-cheek and all of your 
marvelous music. You know how long I've been listening to you on the radio? I don't mean continuously, but this is insane. You're, you're kidding. We're going into the 50th decade, the fifth decade. Yes, I'm afraid so. Isn't that true? Because I remember listening to you back in the 1940s. And I remember also you coming to New York, and I was broadcasting from WOV. Yes, I remember. You were headed for WNEW, but you were also playing on the scene in New York at that time. That's right, yeah. My, how time flies. Yeah, it does. Or some cliché like that. You're not one for clichés. Well, we're starting to get into them. Stop. <laughs> All right. Stop while we're ahead. Yes, indeed. Well, five decades it is, and look forward to seeing you on October 12th. Great. Thanks very much for checking in. Be sure to do that through the, through the years. I'll see you next week. All right. Bye.